years is this year coming back? This is my second year at Mr. USA. Okay, so how did you feel about the judges this year as compared to last year? Well, I don't know that I would say a comparison of judges, but for myself, from this year to last year, um, last year when I came here I didn't really know what to expect. I wasn't very familiar with the system. Um, and once I was here, I saw what it was about, and I knew that I wanted to be a part of it. And so I would say that what's different this year, maybe not the judges, but just when I went into interview, and I interviewed first category both years, um, I was way more comfortable this time, and I knew exactly what I wanted to tell them. And last year, I kind of didn't know what to expect. Great. Well, Cole, since, you, since this is your second year back, I mean, I know everybody talks about your talent, but it's incredible. One of my favorite things to see you do is your sportswear or your club wear because to me, you do it totally different than anybody else I've ever seen. Now, are you going with a more casual look this year, or are you going with a more dressy look again? Or? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked me that question. <laughs> I have two club wears. Prelim night club wear is going to be what you're going to expect from me. It's going to be very conservative and clean. Fine light club wear is going to knock you out of your seat. Okay, well, you know, I'll be sitting on a stool, so if I get knocked off of it, <laughs> it's you all because of you. Bill, trust me. <laughs> Well, you know, we all love you and just look forward to seeing you every time you come back. And my last question for you, if you should be chosen as Mr. USA this year, what are some of the plans that you have to either upgrade from where Tony has stopped or, you know, just continue on with it? Um, well, two sides of it. First of all, I would continue what Antonio has done in how visible he's been. Um, I think it's important that throughout the year, and it's kind of hard to do if you keep another job, mm -hmm. um, and I'm sort of in a position where I would be able to not work aside from this for the next year. I've kind of put myself in that position, so I would definitely continue the visibility that he's he started because he's probably been the most visible Mr. USA ever. Um, and then secondly, I think that USA Limited, there are some changes that we can make in the setup of the corporation, making it not-for-profit. Um, where we'd be able to uh, definitely bring in a lot, a lot of money for the system, for the winner of the system, who could then be a, basically a salaried employee of USA Unlimited, and for the uh, president of the company, who would be Jeff Reed. Well, great. Well, again, we look forward to seeing your talent and also your club work, because you know I love that part of it. So. I'm going to do some good, too. Well, of course, we all love to see your body, so that goes without saying. <laughs> Thanks again, Carl. Thank good you. luck to you. Thanks.
Milwaukee, Wisconsin, representing Lifter, Wisconsin, USA, contestant number 15, Bella Stephen. <laughs> she is hosted by the Triangle Bar, Jesse Rivera, Lama St. James. Welcome to the stage from Washington, D.C., representing Mr. J. Iowa, contestant number 16, Kevin Clopton. And it's got this line by me, myself, and I, and Gary Van Cleef. Welcome to today's from Cahokia, Illinois, representing Michigan, Illinois, USA. Contestant number 17, Damian Tyler. This talk is all about the group, by Colin and Tyler and Ruth. Welcome to the stage from Tiny Flat, Tennessee, representing Mr. Virginia, USA, contestant number 18, Mark Michael. Over here with me that's going to really help me out here. 
Now, if I am not mistaken, we have the Mr. Personality, the Body Group Awards, too. So I have them under here, but I don't have any names. So, Jeff. <laughs> That'll work. Jeff. Play a much for one little sentence here. We'll be right back with you. Say that number again. Ten. 
ten, like the ten man. Oh no, no, we won't play that out loud yet. We're trying to be bizarre here for just a few minutes and pieces of the stage. Our next finalist contestant, number six, Kyle Ian. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give all of these contestants a big round 